Now we are seeing a problem from the topic thin cylindrical shells. A cylindrical shell 4 meters long, 1 meter diameter and 12 mm thickness is subjected to an internal pressure of 1.2 Newton per mm square. Calculate the longitudinal and hoop stresses and change in diameter, change in length, change in volume. Take E is equal to 2 into 10 to the power of 5 Newton per mm square and 1 by m is equal to 0 0.3. So this E is nothing but Young's modulus and 1 by m is nothing but Poisson's ratio. So here the given value is length of the shell is given L is equal to 4 meters or 4000 mm. Diameter of the shell D is 1 meter or 1000 mm. Thickness of the shell is given T 12 mm. Internal pressure is given P 1.2 Newton per mm square. Modulus of elasticity E 2 into 10 to the power of 5 Newton per mm square. Poisson's ratio 1 by m 0 0.3. So here we have to find out longitudinal stress that is nothing but sigma t. Hoop stress sigma h or sigma c any notation. Change in diameter delta d. Change in length delta l. Change in volume delta v. So in the first step if we find out longitudinal stress. So the longitudinal stress is given by the formula sigma t is equals to p d by 40 where p is internal pressure d is diameter so when you substitute the values the given values and if you simplify we are getting longitudinal stress as 25 newton per mm square so and in the next step if you find out hoop stress which is given by the formula sigma h is equals to p d by 2t so here also if you substitute the values p d and t values we are getting hoop stress as 50 newton per mm square and to find out the change in diameter we'll use the formula circumferential strain formula ec is equals to pd by 2 te into 1 minus 1 by 2 m 1 by 2 into 1 by m so for friends if you require more clarification or more explanation about these formulas that is circumferential strain and uh, longitudinal strain and volumetric strain formulas please refer my previous videos so here this is the circumferential strain formula and circumferential strain is also nothing but change in or strain in diameter that is nothing but delta d by d so we can write here delta d by d also so when you substitute the given values here this formula that is p is 1.2 newton per mm square d is 1000 mm and uh, two times of t thickness to l and e is 2 into 10 to the power of 5 things more or less and 1 minus it is 1 by 2 into 1 by m and 1 by m is nothing but Poisson's ratio that is 0 0.3 and when you simplify that we are getting circumferential strain that is delta d by d as 2 into 1 sorry 2.125 into 10 to the power of minus 4 and we require change in diameter so delta d is nothing but 2.125 into 10 to the power of minus 4 and d comes this side so d value 1000 we are getting change in diameter as 0.2125 mm and to find out the change in length this we can find out from the longitudinal strain formula so the longitudinal strain is given by el that is nothing but delta l by l this formula is pd by 2 te into 1 by 2 minus 1 by m so p value is 1.2 d 1000 and e value given value substitute here and 1 by m is 0 0.3 so when you substitute all the given values and if you simplify we are getting longitudinal strain as 5 into 10 to the power of minus 5 that is nothing but delta l by l and we require change in length means delta l is equals to 5 into 10 to the power of minus 5 into l so l value is 4000 and when you simplify that we are getting change in length as 0 0.2 mm so here next we have to find out change in volume so this change in volume we can find out from the volumetric strain formula EV. So in thin cylindrical shells, volumetric strain is given by two times of circumferential strain plus longitudinal strain. So in the previous step, so we got a circumferential strain that is delta D by D or EC as 2.125 into 10 to the power of minus 4 and longitudinal strain as 5 into 10 to the power of minus 5 EL. So substitute here 2 into 1 point sorry 2.125 into 10 to the power of minus 4 
and 2 times means into 2 here and uh, longitudinal strain as 5 into 10 to the power of minus 5. So if you substitute and if you simplify that we are getting volumetric strain that is delta V by V as 4.75 into 10 to the power of minus 4. So here we require change in volume delta V means V comes this side. So it is 4.75 into 10 to the power of minus 4 into V where V is the volume of the shell which is given by the formula we know 5 by 4 d square into L. So 4.75 into 10 to the power of minus 4 into 5 by 4 d value 1000 and L value 4000 and if you substitute these values and if you simplify we are getting change in volume as 1492256.51 mm cube or it is 1.4922 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meter cube. So friends volumetric strain is also found out by this formula PD by 2 T 5 by 2 minus 2 by M. So anyway this formula we will get from this step only. So for more videos please subscribe and activate bell symbol. Please like it, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.